Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, thank you for coming back. So today, uh, first of all I want to apologise for not having been on here for a long time. I think it's been like two weeks and that's just not okay. But um, you might realise, actually I think I said this in the next video as well. I just filmed another video but that's going up after this one and um, I basically was like, oh look I'm in a new setting. But then I realised that there's actually a video going up before that which I will also be explaining the same thing. So I'm actually in my new house. Um, this is the only area that's actually half ready so my office isn't ready and nothing like anything else is ready so I have to film in the living room at the minute but it's fine, they'll do for today. Um, so today I'm going to do a kind of like an autumn slash winter essentials. I've picked up some pretty like statement pieces whether it's shoes or jackets or like a dress or a skirt. Actually, I think I just li I listed them all. <laughs> um, that kind of genre though. Sort of like... Um, statement-ish pieces but the, I can style them up in so many different ways as well. There's five outfits that I'm going to show you um, and each of them I'm just loving for the season right now. They each will do for like the boiling hot afternoons and then like the freezing mornings so it's the nice kind of like you know in between outfits um, but also lots of these pieces will carry me through to winter. So yeah I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to basically show you the main item and then I'm going to style it up as normal and I will link everything that I've styled it up with for you. Okay. The first piece I'm going to show you is this big jacket from Topshop. Topshop are a fail safe if you're looking for transitional pieces or autumn winter pieces. You know, actually, they're a fail safe all year round. <laughs> I literally love Topshop. But I saw this jacket online and I thought, ooh, -hoo -hoo, I might have that. I don't have any like this and I actually love it. So I don't know if it's going to be easy to show, but of course, I will be styling everything up so you can see it easier on me. So it's just this kind of like trench style coat. It's got this sort of checkered, um, what would you call it? Not tartan, I guess just a checkered pattern on it. So it is this gorgeous grey colour, but there are in shots of navy and black and cream through it. So I'll kind of bring it up closer so you can see. But yeah, I just really, really lo lo love it. And all breasted, so you have these big lovely buttons. Like I said before, I have a thing about buttons and they have to be nice, but I actually really, really love these buttons on this coat. They're a nice... Where are they? Um, a nice button. But the coat is just gorgeous. It has this big collar. The arms have these buckles around them so you can pull them in tighter and kind of make the jacket have more shape. And then of course it has a belt all the way around it which I love. So this was um, £89 and it's a UK 6. It's a really nice weight as well. Um, it's not heavy but it's definitely not a lightweight coat. It's going to keep you kind of warm. So great for autumn. Um, I've actually brought black to style this up with today, but I think this is going to look great with um, dark denim, or not dark, maybe dark denim or like indigo denim jeans, kind of straight leg jeans, and also mom jeans, I think it's going to look amazing. And of course you can wear this with flats when it's not raining, or you can wear it with boots, it's, there's lots and lots of different ways to style this up, and I do really, really love it. So I paired this with some grey um, straight leg jeans from Zara, which I'm living in recently, some black sock boots or like ankle boots from Zara again and then a little white t-shirt from Topshop and also a buckle belt from Topshop and I think it just kind of gives a really casual effortlessly cool vibe I really really love it so that is my first essential for autumn and winter moving on this piece is actually already on my Instagram I will pop my Instagram on screen here somewhere so you can see it um, but it's this gorgeous skirt. Now, obviously like animal print and leopard print and all that kind of thing is really in trend right now But um, this is kind of their own little take on it So this is a snake print, but it's done in these gorgeous colors sort of pinkies and purplies and dark colors Which I'm loving this is gonna look great throughout the autumn winter But also in summer you can really get a lot of wear out of this It is actually pleated all the way down which I think is really nice It gives a really nice shape and then it has a little split here which doesn't come up too high, which is nice, so you're not going to worry about, you know, showing anything or flashing anything if the wind hits you, but it will still give you a nice little bit of leg to show. So this skirt I got in a UK 4 and it fits perfectly, so it's very, very true to size. Um, I styled it with this little jumper that I'm wearing, which is also from Topshop, and I actually am not going to take any credit for styling this outfit, because I saw the model on Topshop wearing it with this jumper, and I was like, okay, I need to take that outfit, it looks amazing. So I copied the model, or I copied Topshop styling. Um, but this is a gorgeous little soft knit jumper. It's so soft. Honestly, I wish you could feel it. The only thing is it does sort of like molt at the start um, when you first wear it. It kind of like sheds a little bit, but it's fine now. So this jumper is actually quite cropped. The sleeves are nice and long, but the body is quite cropped. Um, I'm going to show you here. 
So I went for a UK 10 in this jumper because I didn't want it to be cropped, but it is actually still <laughs> cropped. But it's fine with the skirt and it's fine with high-waisted jeans. And also paired this outfit with these Topshop boots, which I'm loving. Normal black leather boots. Um, they're very, very, very soft. They're lovely leather. And then the heel is this sort of like varnished wood. Don't know if it's going to come up too well on camera. Hopefully it will. But they're just gorgeous. They're such a great boot. Um, just a little bit different than your average black boot. These boots are actually £79 and they're a little bit more expensive but they are leather so they're definitely worth it. So a whole Topshop outfit but I love them. These boots I went true to size again and I got a UK 3 and they fit perfectly. So as I said, snake print is literally everywhere at the minute. If you haven't seen it then you've probably been living underneath a rock. But I saw these boots on, actually I saw them on Instagram first and then I saw them on Topshop and I had to get them. They were a great price. Now I Oh, I have the press here. They were only £39, which when I saw these on Instagram, I was like, they're going to be at least £80 from Topshop. But they're only £39, which I think is great. They just have a little heel. Again, very, very comfortable because I have worn them out um, quite a lot, actually. And then they have this zip down the middle. They're just a nice little boot. The only criticism I would have for them is I would like them to have come up maybe an inch higher on the leg. Only because my jeans often are pretty short on me because I have to go quite small in size, but that makes the leg quite short. Um, but I mean it's fine, I just wear socks or jeans that are a little bit longer. I love the colouring of this snake print, I think often snake print can look quite cheap but this is a nice like neutral tone of it. Um, gonna look great with all black outfits, with mom jeans, like you can really style these up in a lot of different ways so I love them. This outfit though, I have made them quite casual and I've paired them with this amazing big cable knit cardigan from Topshop. This is the comfiest, slouchiest, perfect transitional piece ever. So this I got in a UK 6, again the right size for me. Usually I will go up to a UK 8 in jackets because I like them to really fit. But I actually went down in this one because it did look quite big and I'm glad I did. So the sleeves are just, everything's cable knit, very very big and chunky. The sleeves are lovely and the um, wrists come in in like a nice elasticated bit. So it kind of gives you like a puff of it. Puff of a, a puff effect, which I do love. Adds to that very like casual, cozy, you know, just really slouchy but still looking really nice put together outfit. So that is this cardigan. I think this is going to sell out pretty quick. I think the last time I checked, there was only a UK six and a UK eight in stock. So of course, with any of these, if I can't find them, I will link alternatives below. But um, yeah, I just love the way this outfit came together. Actually, I think this one's on my Instagram as well, so go over there and check it out. And it was really easy to wear, you know, if it was too hot, I would just take off my cardigan. If it was getting a little bit nippy, it's just one of those ones you can cuddle up into and stay warm. Okay, the next piece is one that I actually picked up in the south of France last week. I was in the hot sun, but honestly, and it was an amazing holiday, but all I could think about was I want to get home and get into my winter wear. Especially when we went shopping and everything in there was like jackets and jumpers and autumn wear. And I was like, oh, so excited. I got quite a lot, but I'm not going to show it all in this video because they don't all work with this video. But I will be putting things on my Instagram and also probably will be showing you more here as the time goes on. But this is just a really gorgeous jacket from Mango. This was about 89 euros, I think, so I'm guessing it's around 70 pounds in the UK. It's very, very heavy. It's a really good weight on it, but it's kind of elasticated, so there's kind of like, there's a nice stretch to it as well. Um, they call it a coat, and I was struggling to find it online because I would personally call it a cardigan, but yeah, I mean, it does, it's like a cardigan that looks like a coat. So the shape is like a coat. It's got a really nice big collar, really nice long sleeves, and I've just rolled them. They have two big pockets either side of the cardigan, which is lovely. There's no buttons or anything, it's just very open. It's just a really nice slouchy piece. On the website, they have actually styled it with a belt, um, and I think my Gucci belt around my waist is going to look lovely with this. I've been styling it up with jeans, and my Gucci loafers with the fur around the ankle look lovely with it, because it's the same sort of colours with the camel. Um, and then I have my black jeans, or ripped jeans, or leathers look really nice with it. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice, easy to style piece. Again, I think the key in autumn winter is being comfortable but also still looking good. So for me, it's about finding things that you can just chuck on, like a jacket or a jumper or a big cardigan that will look, make you look put together but still it's very comfortable and easy to layer and you know, all that jazz. So this is definitely a go-to piece. I think this is probably my most worn piece of the autumn so far. Great investment. I think it's gonna last me a long while. So I have one more piece to show you and this is snake print again and this is actually from my collection with Pretty Lavish. This is my favourite piece of the collection, I think. That's a bold statement to make but I think it actually might be. 
just this really nice floaty dress in this gorgeous snake print color this is kind of like a more gray so obviously this was more like neutral and this one's more like a silvery gray color which i love it has a really nice collar around the neck which we weren't sure about keeping on but actually we love it on now i think it looks really nice it kind of it means that you can wear this out with heels and look really sophisticated but also in the day it looks just as nice so it's got a little collar it has long sleeves the thing with this dress is it's very very simple but it's gorgeous like it's, there's not much to it in terms of like buttons or details but they have this really nice bold fabric and then sorry bold print and then just a really nice simple silhouette so I'm loving it it is actually a wrap dress style so you have the straps and then they'll this is really hard to show like you tie it in you weave it in and you tie it round and then you have a little wrap dress it's mid calf length and I have actually styled this up with some cut out ASOS ankle boots which if you have been watching my last few videos you will see that I am loving uh, and then another jacket but I have also put this on with nude heels and a little bag and it's stunning so lots and lots of different ways to wear this um, I will leave the link below I don't think it will be out by the time this video goes live but do make sure to check it out when it does go live on the 28th I hope I didn't rush through that I feel like I was talking really really quickly I hope not. Um, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this little like style inspo. Um, of course, the more I move into this house, the more I will be doing styling videos and all those kinds of things are coming your way. But for now, I thought this would just be a nice little start into my YouTube channel again. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, everything will be linked below. If I can't find the exact pieces, I will find alternatives for you. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video or these kinds of videos, do let me know. And please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!